And tonight for new developments in a corruption crackdown. One month after they were arrested by the FBI, three former North Providence town councilors appeared in federal court today to answer to bribery and extortion charges. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Anuosu joins us live now from federal court with the Providence Bubble Newsroom. Well, Karen, Mike, tonight all three men are free, but in September they are expected back in court for trial. One by one, three former North Providence town councilmen enter federal court. And one by one, each man pleads not guilty to extortion and bribery charges. Former councilman John Zamborano, along with former councilman Raymond Douglas III, we have no comment. and former council president Joseph Birchfield were arraigned this morning, accused of splitting a $25,000 bribe from a developer looking to build a stop and shop in their town. We have to wait to see and get all the evidence so that we don't have yet, and when we do, I will have a comment uh, in good time. The men were arrested last month and resigned from the council, forcing North Providence to schedule a special election to fill the three vacant seats. Mayor Charles Lombardi, who's been outspoken about the corruption charges in the past, had little to say this afternoon. I really have no comment and just um, at this point in time to let the judicial process uh, take its course. Now, Mayor Lombardi says there are currently 22 people vying for those three open council seats. The special election is scheduled for August 17th. And coming up new at 6, we will get reaction to these not guilty pleas from people who live and, of course, pay taxes in North Providence. We're live outside of federal court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.